48 hours ago I made a character on Elizele and I've been leeching it up. It's currently at level 141. I will be quite inactive nowadays with regards to uploading YouTube videos because I am busy with uni. I'm in the final year and the work is very intense. Also have a part-time job so I won't be playing much but the reason why I'm on Elizele is uh, for a few reasons. Firstly, the server is a lot more active compared to Echo and the number one uh, appeal to that is I'm planning to level up my maging professions to level 200. Currently my professions are pretty low and I'm going to be maging and selling a lot of gear. Now the thing about that is that it's actually very very nice to mage for profit on the server Elizeli because the ratio of karma's worth uh, from Elizeli to Echo is about 1 to 3 which means you know an item that costs 1 million on Elizeli will be costing 3 million on Echo and for example a common item that I mage is a ring goose and let's see see so we have various ring gooses here uh, they are pretty much around the 20 million karma mark and that is a uh, equal to 60 million karmas on echo so it's very nice to make profit here and another thing you might notice after seeing me scroll through is that a lot of these are shit stats. I, I would confidently say that, you know, 90% of them are crap stats. And the, the reason why that is, is it's, it's not because the people on Elizeli are shit at maging. It's because of the fact that, you know, items here get bought very, very quickly. And that's what I'm going to be looking forward to because, you know, um, or specifically high stat items get bought very quickly. So... You know, you, you guys have seen my mages are uh, very high stats, so I'm going to be maging uh, good stat items and selling them, hopefully, you know, for, for profit. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Zephy, who has given me a bit of karmas and a wisdom set to get me started on Elizele. Um It's helped me out a lot because starting here with nothing is extremely difficult. I also had enough karmas to scroll um, 100 vitality, strength and wisdom. And I'm going to be making a video that will teach you how to scroll in the cheapest way. And that will be for agility, chance and intelligence. And I'll make that video soon. Um, yeah, but it's pretty much the activity of Echo um, compared to Elizeli. You know, Echo is not a dead server. I will still be playing there, you know, logging on and maging and, you know, talking to people. I have a lot of friends on Echo. And, you know, I'm not going to just leave them behind. Uh, I'll be logging back there to check every now and then. Um, there are disadvantages of Elizeli, such as, you know, it's pretty hard to find, you know, harvestable resources such as wheat or ash wood or iron. Because there's too many people in the server and they keep, you know, harvesting it. So whenever I try and look for these, it's very difficult Right now it's 5.39 in the game, which is pretty much quiet hours. And you can still see that there are a ton of people online at this time. So, yeah, it's an active server. Also, I heard that Okadofus cost about 90 million here, which is equivalent to 270 million on Echo. Uh, the reason for that is because of the Arch Monsters. Since it's a highly populated server, it's very hard to find Arch Monsters. So, Okadofus is quite difficult. But then again, I can just wear a shaker. Yeah, so if you have any questions about my transition to Elizeli, let me know in the uh, comment section below and I'll answer. See you at the next video.